Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ayomide, a lover of all things fashion. If this is your first time, you're welcome. I post sewing tutorials every week. In this video, I will be sharing with you guys how I made these six pieces blouse. So if you want to learn how to do this, then you should see this video till the end. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscription button below. For this blouse, I would be using this lovely Adore fabric. I also have my cotton lining, I have my SD, I have the wording for the breast pad. I also have my pins and this very, very sharp scissors tape and my patterns. Next thing I would do is to place my fabric on fold and also place my center front along the folded area as it is shown. Then I would also place my side fronts also i am cutting my side fronts in alternate ways with the center front because i realize if i should cut in line with the center front i'm going to be losing a lot of fabric and i did not want that and luckily for me this particular fabric does not have patterns it doesn't have a particular flow of patterns so i don't need to worry about a continuous flow of my patterns so this gave me the flexibility to cut as i wish so i'm going in to add in all of my seam allowances i'm using 2.5 inches for my aiming allowance and i'm using 1.5 inches for the side allowance to join my panels together i would be using half inch on to join my panels together so once i am done adding in all of my allowances and smoothing out the sharp edges i would go ahead and cut out my front panels once i'm done cutting out the front panels i'm going to repeat the same procedure for the back 2.5 inches for the aiming allowance 1.5 inches for the side and half inch to join the panels together once i'm done cutting out i'm going to create crucial notches around the boss area the waist area and the under boss this serves as a guide for me when i'm sewing all i have to do is to just place the notches against each other and sew Once I'm done transferring all of my notches, I'll go ahead and cut out my lining. So I'm cutting all of my lining pieces at a go. This actually made my job easier and faster for me. And since it is only the center front I am cutting on fold, I have the flexibility to cut as I wish. So I'm cutting out all of my lining pieces now. And when I am done, we are going to be proceeding to the next phase which is to iron in interfacing on the fabric i've ironed in interfacing on my fabric on all of my panel pieces and in addition to the front i also ironed in my wording for the breast pad but before proceeding to the sewing machine like i always like to do i always like to pin down especially when i'm working with a bustier blouse because this saves me a whole lot of struggle when i am sewing especially along that bust area it makes my job easier and it gives me the flexibility to maneuver around my sewing machine it allows me to sew with ease that's the word i'm able to sew with ease along my sewing machine so after pinning my panels together this is the outcome of my blouse with just pins alone i could imagine the outcome after sewing and i love the outcome already so on my sewing machine i'm going to be joining in by the amount of seam allowance that i added which is just half inch and because i already pinned it was easier for me to sew especially along that bust area and all of my panels match properly so it was very easy and it was very smooth for me to sew this is the outcome of my front panel so after all of these i'm going to go in and join my back panel pieces together and also join my 
lining pieces together also. I decided to show us step by step so that you guys can know how I was able to achieve this blouse. That is why I'm putting all in all of these details. So after sewing, I'm going to flat iron my seam lines and I did this for all of the panels. So after ironing my seam lines, I'm going to notch the area under the bust for ease and I will also trim off the excess fabric along the seam lines. I did this for all of the panels also. So after all of this, we are going to turn our fabric with the lining. To turn your fabric, place right sides against right sides and sew along the end. I did this for all of my panels. But one thing I realized was that my fabric, my lining was a little bit short of my fabric. It wasn't properly accommodating my fabric along the edges. So what I did was that I added about a little patch of lining. And the solution to this is to extend your lining by like 1 inch or 1.5. If it is excessive, you're going to trim out. You should always do this when you're turning with a lining. So in, in order to join your pieces together, you could match up your lining to your fabric this way. Remember, our fabric is longer than the lining and sew by the edges for all of your panels. Or you could do it this way. Place your front panel on the flat surface like I'm doing over here. Place your back panel, the right side that should go with the black back panel, and then open up your seam line along the hem, making sure that they match. This is very important for easy turning. And make sure that fabric faces fabric and lining faces lining. You can go ahead and pin down in order to make it easier for you to walk over it. So I am pinning down my fabric to fabric and I'm also pinning down my lining to lining. I'm going to do this for the other side of my clothes too and then proceed to my sewing machine to sew it down. So I'm going to sew in by my seam allowance of 1.5 inches. I'm just sewing it gently because it was quite bulky and pinning it down helped me to find my way easily around sewing it. So after sewing it, I'm going to be showing us the effects of this sewing. This is just one of the methods by which you can turn your fabric or by which you can join your fabric pieces together. So this is the outcome of what we just did. And I love the fact that it is giving a perfect finishing. I, I really don't like it when my seam lines are showing. I feel it is much more professional if you are able to conceal your seam lines. Now, if you want to turn your neckline, you could also turn over and place right sides against right sides. And so make sure that all of your seam lines match. Because like I say, if they don't match, then there's going to be a whole lot of... Let me not say problem, but it won't be nice. The outcome will not be nice. So you're going to sew it all the way down. Not the arm or anyways, because we would be fixing a sleeve, just a neckline. But in this tutorial, I'm not going to be turning over. But rather, we are going to be going straight ahead to draft the pattern for the sleeve. For the sleeve, you would need your round shoulder measurement. We would determine the neckline. You would also need your sleeve length. Round sleeve I'm working with is 11 and half of that is 5.5. And to determine your cap height, divide your bust by 12 and add 0 0.5. The initial figure I got is 3.8, not 4.1, and I'll be approximating to 4.0. So for your neckline, measure what you have over there. And remember we have half inch for seam allowances on the armhole of both sides of the blouse which is a total of one inch so i'll be deducting one inch from 14.5 which is 13.5 and i'll multiply by two 
to get my round neckline for both the front and the back and I got 27. The next thing I will do is to subtract 27 point from 43.5 and I got 16.5 and I went ahead to divide 16.5 by 4 which gave me 4.1. I'm sorry my paper got out of the camera for a moment. So on my pattern paper, I'm going to place down my measurements. I'll place down my cap height of 4.8. I'll also place down my sleeve length of 8 inches. My cap height is 4.0, sorry. And, my, and I'll be using 2 inches for seam allowances. I'll place it across so I can get a straight line. So I'll go ahead and connect it with my pattern master. This pattern master is a multi-purpose curved ruler for me. So on my cap height line, I would place my chest line of 8 inches and 1 inch seam allowance. On the round sleeve line, I will place the round sleeve and 1 inch seam allowance. I would extend the same measurement to that third line over there. And extend out by half inch because I will be turning with the lining and I want my, my fabric to fit into the lining properly. At the apex of the pattern paper, I will be putting in that figure because from that very long calculation, add half inch seam allowance and connect to draw my arm O. So this is all about drafting an off the shoulder sleeve irrespective of the side. Of this length you are cutting and i'll be cutting that region that i indicated i'll be cutting on fold although i will not be doing that in this video i'll be creating a separate video on how i'll be making a cloudy sleeve just as i have shown us here this is the mesh i will be working with so if this video has really blessed you if you have learned something from it please like share and subscribe to my channel and until my next video bye